Hello YouTube, my name is Parker, and welcome to the Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. Um, uh, I've been wanting to do one of these since before I started the channel. It was one of the original intentions for the channel, but I just never got around to doing it. And now that I've got the, uh, the Elgato, and I have an adapter that takes the composite plugs and adapts them into an HDMI so I can plug them in there, I have my GameCube here with the Game Boy Player, and I've got this and Pokemon Emerald, and I said, let's do a Nuzlocke. And as you can also see down below, we've got ourselves a, a background here. We've got our team down here over um, on this side somewhere, there's going to be the game screen, and then down over there, there's going to be our progress in the game where we'll put our badges. So let's get right into the game. There's my old save file from uh, when I first played through this. I never... Uh, beat it. I did make it up to the uh, I made it up to Rayquaza and then I was I started shiny hunting it and then I never finished and I know that there's like broken The the RNG in this game the random the randomness in this game is kind of off so Okay, while while we go through this I'm gonna explain what a Nuzlocke is a Nuzlocke is a challenge That it, it's a set of self-imposed rules to make a Pokemon game more challenging and what those rules are is the first rule of a Nuzlocke is that in each area of the game, so on Route 1, Route 2, and so forth, I can only catch the first Pokemon I encounter. Now, that, now let's say on Route 1 I encounter a Zigzagoon. That doesn't mean I can only catch Zigzagoon. It means I can only catch that Zigzagoon that I've just encountered. Let me turn my volume down a little bit here. Um, so that's the first rule. The second rule is that I have to nickname all the Pokemon that I get. And so that's kind of what the, the thing below, you'll, you'll see when we get one. Um, we have to nickname everything. And the third rule is that any Pokemon that gets knocked out is considered dead and we have to get rid of it and we can no longer use it. We have to either release it or I'm probably just going to put them in like a, a death box. And... There's a few other rules. The, the, uh, the, the first kind of optional rule I'll be playing with that pretty much everybody does is the uh, dupes clause, which means that in each area, instead of being the first Pokemon I encounter, it's the first Pokemon I encounter that I don't already have. So if I, it just prevents me from having a bunch of the same Pokemon on my team. Uh, the second rule I'll be playing with is the shiny clause, which just means if I if I find a shiny, even if it's not the first encounter, I can still catch it because it's a it's a shiny, and that would be awesome. I would I really really hope we find a shiny. I don't think it's gonna happen. And let me set my clock. It is 3:53. So doesn't really matter if this is accurate or not. One, two, three. 45, 50, 50, that's right there. It's kind of ironic that you have a GameCube, but I'm actually, a, a Game Boy Advance is connected to serve as the controller. I'm actually playing this on the, uh, a Game Boy Player on the GameCube. And I think, isn't there a person in here? Yes, there is. Excellent. Now, for the starter, I'm actually okay with any starter we get in this game. This is one of my... One of the Pokemon games where I really like all three starters. I think if I... Ch I don't know how I want to do this. If I want to randomly choose my starter or if I want to... Uh, pick myself. Because uh, if I pick myself, I'm probably going to go with Mudkip. Because I've actually never used Mudkip in a game, so when I've played on my own, I've either used... Uh, I'm not going through any of that. I, 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 I'm obviously not going through the story, but I usually pick Torchic or Trico. I don't know, should I be doing the story? It doesn't matter, the story. I'll just kind of go through the text. It doesn't really matter. So we've talked to her, and now we go and we go and uh, get our starter. And I'm not sure how I should randomize this, or should I just pick? I'm gonna see if it's possible for me to like scroll. I didn't think this through. I have, I have an app on my phone that can randomize this for us if we need to. 
Oh, you know what? I have a, a funny idea. Hold on, let me... So here's our starters, and let me see. Nah, it doesn't matter. I can't. All right. Um. All right. Computer. Pick a random number between one and three. All right. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but I have like an echo in here, and it just said that the random number was two. So I'm gonna go with Torchic then. I would have rather gone with a uh, Mudkip, but we'll go with Torchic then. Actually, Torchic's pretty good. All right, no shiny uh, Zigzagoon, thank you. Okay, I did not want a shiny Zigzagoon. Shiny Torchic? No. All right. Oh, I, I actually, I'm not paying attention. There's two, uh, there's at least two places in this game where you can actually encounter uncatchable shinies. Oh, I'm not paying attention at all. Okay, uh, another thing. The Nuzlocke doesn't start until I get Pokeballs. So, it's gonna be a little later. Uh, I'd have to do a, one or two more things and then the Nuzlocke officially starts. So any Pokemon that I encounter till then, and even if my Torchic here gets knocked out, it doesn't count. It does not count at all. And then obviously in a minute, I'm going to nickname the Torchic. And I have no idea what I'm gonna nickname it. I also need to change my text speed, maybe. Alright, what's a good nickname for Torchic? Um... Well, he's a chicken. He's fire. Um... Okay, uh, I am going to name him. Um, I'm gonna name him Colonel, and he's gonna be like Colonel Sanders because he's a chicken. Is that how you spell Colonel? Let me check real quick. Let me see on my phone. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm spelling that right because I know it's spelled kind of weird. Tell me. Hold on here. Yes, that is spelled correctly. All right. Uh, do I want to go with that? Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna call him Colonel. And I like if you say no here, you just you just don't. You just can't ever. So we've got our first team member, and like I said, because we don't have Pokeballs yet, the Nuzlocke hasn't officially started, um, but it will be starting shortly because it's pretty early in this game to get Pokeballs. I mean, it's usually early, but there's like one or two Pokemon games where you actually go a little distance before you get anything. I think in, in Gold and Silver, I want to say, you, it takes you a little while to get Pokeballs. And I don't want to knock out everything in one hit, so I'm not going to train too much. Also, this guy right here, this guy that gives you a potion normally, I am not going to be doing it because there is an awesome glitch I can do later on if we don't. And I really I want to show that off because it's a fun glitch. Um, we'll just go. Oh wait, do we want? No, we don't need to talk to the footprint guy. I'm not concerned with, like, the text, really, because, I mean, it's a pretty well-known game. I'm just trying to get through the challenge. Maybe if I do the, any more of these, then I will, you know? But Also, uh, one more thing. I'd like to say that if I, if I die, if I completely game over, because if you lose your team in a Nuzlocke, it's game over. If I game over before the second or third gem, then I will start over. If I die after that, then I 
I will just, you know, we'll call it a loss. Hopefully we won't. I'm, I'm intending to see this through to completion, so. Oh, also, I will be doing, if we make it that far, I will be doing the post-game as well. Uh, if I beat the champion, I will call it a victory on the Nuzlocke. But I will keep going just for fun, just to do some of the... Because I know there's... There's like the Battle Frontier and a few other things we can do. Some of the legendaries. And I don't know, can we buy Pokeballs yet? Or not? Let me see here. No, we can't. We should probably buy a few potions, because we're about to have... There. The Nuzlocke start. Let me see some. Let's our... What is our Torchix nature? And I need to just drop by Pokemon Center. It is... Naughty. I don't know what that does. Let me see. Hold on. Let's see what our nature does for us. I don't know my natures, but... Naughty increases attack and decreases special defense. That actually might not be too bad for a Torchic. Although, dang, okay, no, um... When it turns into a Blaziken, it's gonna be good. Uh, but... Uh, in this game, there is no physical special split, so any Fire-type move will automatically be special. Or, yeah. Wait. Okay, yeah. So, if you don't know what that means, basically there's there's physical moves like tackle and uh, scratch, and then there's special moves like water gun and uh, fire blast, and those are affected differently by your stats. So your you have your attack and your special attack, and then the you also have a defense and special defense. And until Generation 4, it was dependent on what type it was. So every Fire-type move was was a special move. Every Fighting-type move was physical. But in Generation 4, they changed it so that it was on a move-to-move -move basis. So there could be a physical fire move, special fighting moves, and so forth. But since this is a Generation 3 game, it does not apply. So, alright, we got Pokeballs. The Nuzlocke has officially started. And I am going to close my eyes when I get my first encounter so that we, and I'll guess based on the cry, but it should be pretty easy since there's, it's not, I know people do randomizers, I might do one of those someday, but since we're not doing like a randomizer or anything, it's all just... Uh, the regular encounters. I kind of am hoping for... I would say a Poochiena would be pretty good. I want a Poochiena. Um, Alright, I'm gonna close my eyes. Oop, we already got one. It is... Oh, yes! <laughs> I got it right! Yes, I want that! I am a-okay with this. I want this. So I can't fail this. I mean, if I do fail it, then... If I crit, then I can't catch anything on this route. Okay. So... I got what I wanted. That's a pretty good start to the Nuzlocke, I will say. Come on. There we go. All right, what are we gonna nickname this? Um, what do we want to call it, Puchian? Um, I could call it like. Greyhound? It's not like, it's not, it doesn't look like a Greyhound, but I could call it that because it's like a gray dog. I'm going to call it Greyhound. That's my name for it. 
since it's like a gray dog. All right. Oh. <laughs> so on the on the uh, the uh, GameCube controller, these buttons. Oh, I can't. On these buttons right here are the both select and s the start button is here. And I would have thought that maybe one of those would be start and the other select, but no, they're they're both select, which is a little weird. And I keep pushing them, thinking that they would be like the button to open the menu. And I don't... I don't think that there's a way to change that. I can make them the L and R buttons, but I can't make them the start button. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Let's check this guy out real quick. Alright, he is bashful. That might not be good. Let me see. Bashful. What does that do? Wait, that's... Okay, no, that's a neutral nature. That's fine. I'm okay with the neutral nature. Plus, it's got Runaway, which is going to be kind of useful, maybe? I don't know. Because it, it makes it so that we always run away from battles. Which might be nice if we need to get away. But this is a pretty good start to my Nuzlocke, I will say. And we've all... Oh! This game is really great because you've got, like, three... Three different places where you can get Pokemon. Three different encounters, like, right off the bat. Actually, hold on. Another thing I just remembered is... I have an app on my phone that lets me manage, like, Nuzlocke's. So, I can actually go on here... And I can create a new Nuzlocke. And I'll call it Emerald. And I'll set the game to Pokemon Emerald. And it shows me all the routes in the game. But, and I can then put down what my Pokemon are for those routes. So I'll put down, real quick, I'll just put down my Torchic that I nicknamed uh, Colonel. That was a very unfortunate name that I gave it. Oops. And on Route 101, we got a Poochiena that we named Greyhound. All right, and so we got another at least two encounters right around here. So we get a pretty full party pretty early. I think I would like... Since the universe seems to be listening to me today, I think I would like a... Um, uh, a Lotad would be good. That would be nice on the team. Maybe... Maybe a Taolo? Just to have a flying type, and then it would be good for... Uh, HMs later. Another thing that I will do, if if I'm like completely stuck, if okay, for the most part, HMs I will give to Pokemon that I've I've gotten through normal through the Nuzlocke rules. But if there's a situation in which I am stuck, if I cannot progress through the game without an HM, and I do not have a Pokemon that can learn that HM. I will catch a Pokemon for that, but only to use for the HM, and I will not use use it for any other purpose. Just to keep the game moving. Just so I don't get, like, completely locked out of anything because of the Nuzlocke rules. And this guy right here is the best thing ever. This guy, this guy frustrated me as a kid. <laughs> I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were only my own footprints. This guy is a genius. This guy is a complete genius. Did these people give me anything? I can't remember. No. Oh! Also, a couple more things I want to do. Uh, yes, tech speed. I'm gonna stick with this frame because I like it's like a cosmic type thing. I'm gonna go with normal button mode. Uh, if I recall correctly, there was almost like a password system in this game. And we could create... You, you, there was like a website that some, some fans had made that you could take advantage of that. And you could add your own custom wallpapers through like the passwords. 
and it was really cool. And I don't know if it works in this game or not, but uh, if it does, I will be doing that too. And it's not even like, it's not like a, a cheat or anything, it's just, there's like a person you talk to and they'll ask you some phrases and then you just get it. Can I get my encounter up here? Yes, I can. Alright, I'm gonna close my eyes again. What's it gonna be? I'm gonna guess. I don't know what that is. Is that a C dot? No, it's a low tad. Okay, I'm actually good. <laughs> I got what I wanted again. Oh man, I thought it was a C dot. All right. I love this. This is awesome. I'm getting everything I want for this. I'm getting my dream team on this Nuzlocke. I'm not. I swear. To, I swear. I'm not like doing an action replay or anything. Here's my console. With everything hooked up to it. There's no action replay or Game Shark, I guess it would have been back then. But, uh. I'm getting everything I want, pretty much. Okay. Universe. I want a shiny. That's what I want. Since the universe is listening to me today, I want a shiny. That's right, I keep lowering my attack. It just lets me uh, whittle you down more. Nope. I'm gonna throw a ball now. Yeah! What am I gonna call this? Oh, I'm shaking my desk. Alright, I'm gonna call this. Um. You know what? I'm gonna name him Mirror. If you remember, there was Pokemon XD and Pokemon Colosseum. And in that, like, one of the villains was named Mirror B. And he used uh, Ludicolos, which is this thing's of all form. So I'm going to name him... Should I call him Mirror B or just Mirror? I'll call him Mirror B, I think. We'll go for the full name. Or should I just call him Mirror? Would Mirror be better? I'll just call him Mirror. The B will be implied. And I'll add him to my... to my route chart real quick on here. He is a low tad. It helps me, this thing will help me, like, in the long term, it'll help me remember what routes I've caught Pokemon on and which ones I haven't. So far, I've got nothing but uh, decent Pokemon, though. I'm, I'm very happy with this. I still want a Nuz, uh, not a Nuzlocke, I want a Shiny. Which, you know, the, the odds of that in this game are 1 in 8,000. Uh, Calm Nature, what does that do? Calm. I think that's also neutral. No. It decreases attack and increases special defense. That... Mm, I think that's okay, because that's a... He's a water type. I can't remember. Is grass physical or special in this? That I don't know. Do they have the... I don't know. I'll check here in a minute. I'm curious if they had the symbols for physical and special moves, or did they introduce that in Generation 4? I assume that would have been in Generation 4. Yeah, that's... that was in Generation 4. I can't believe I'm getting everything I want. That's awesome. Because normally, you, you just uh, you get whatever the game throws at you, but... I'll probably get something... Like not very good soon. I'm probably gonna get a Wurmple. I'm be I'm... I would like... I don't remember what all you can get in the woods. The Petalburg Woods. I think you can get Shroomish, which wouldn't be too bad, although I've already got a Grass-type. I actually wouldn't mind a Wurmple, in all honesty. I think, uh, cause like, a um, Wurmple... So like, Pokemon like Butterfree and... Uh, Beautyfly and Dustox are all... They're actually pretty good early on. 
they're not as good later in the game, but during the early parts of the game, they're actually pretty good because they're they can do status conditions. They're evolved a lot quicker. So I would not mind that. Oh, Mirror is going to be really good on the first gem, too. Like he's pretty much made for the first gem. I'd like to get. Can you get C dot in this version? I don't know. Need to make sure my levels are up. I don't even know how long I've been recording for. I'll go for a little while. I've only been recording for like 20 minutes at most. Alright, um, I'd like to put Mirror up front, get him a level or two. Come on, be shiny. Be shiny. Nope. What does this shiny low tide even look like? I'm not sure. I'm gonna run from this. Can't escape, of course not. Nope, I'm gonna... I am going to switch into uh, uh, Greyhound. Because he has run away. That does a lot of damage. And I need to look up. I wonder when uh, Torchic's going to run a fire move. So, I'm really hoping to get either a Taylo or a C Dot or something. Since the universe is listening. I also need to be careful. Because if we have to lose someone, they're gone forever. And I don't want to lose a team member in the first episode. And the battle slows down. There we go. Oh, I was thinking that we were almost to the woods. There's still, um... Uh, that one town I can't remember the name of. Oh! I forgot you could find Ralts around here. That would have been cool on the team. Or is that on the... No, that's this route, isn't it? I would have liked the Ralts. I'm probably going to focus. I'm going to battle them in a minute. We get some Orin Berries. I'm probably going to focus more on training up Mirror because... Uh, he's going to be good against the first gem. I keep readjusting my glasses because of these headphones. They, it's like they're weird with my ears and my headphones glasses. 
Oops, I did not mean to do that. I'm gonna avoid this guy for right now. And her too. Yeah, this is where you can find Ralts. That would have been a cool encounter. Although, would I have caught it? I would have teleported away right away. So I'm gonna buy some potions and a couple of Pokeballs. Pokeballs aren't as important in Nuzlocke because you're not catching everything. But they would be good to have. Especially if I find a shiny. I'm gonna be stuck on that for like the entire playthrough trying to find a shiny. I've actually... The very first time I ever found a shiny Pokemon, it was in Pokemon Heart Gold. And it was a shiny Hoot Hoot. I'd already beaten the game and I was like running around going from, I don't, know, I don't remember where. But uh, I'm gonna buy two potions. And I was sick. And because I was sick, I'm not gonna buy too many of these. Uh, I was just sitting down on the couch playing Pokemon. And I find that shiny Hoot Hoot and normally, I had like a sore throat. Normally when I got sick, I'd have like a sore throat and I wouldn't really be talking. And I, I screamed when I found the shiny. I would have been probably 10-ish. I don't know. No, I would have been a little older. I probably would have been closer to 11 or 12. But I, uh, I got so excited when I found that and I caught it. And I still, I have it on my copy of Ultra Moon now. And then the next one I found, it was actually only a few months later, I found a shiny Raticate in the same game. And then I never found any more shinies until I started shiny hunting uh, last year. Oh my god, this guy! This guy's incredible! My face is reflected in the water. It's a shining grin full of hope. Or could it be a look of somber silence struggling with fear? What do you see reflected in your face? This guy is like having a full-on like existential crisis right right in front of us I forgot about him uh yeah Norman this is like the one Pokemon game where you actually have a dad I think after this episode I'm gonna look up how to do the um, the thing with the PC boxes and I'll try to find us, like, I'll, I'll make, like, a custom one. I'll see if there's one that's, like, a brick background or something. It'll be the channel's special wallpaper. And I think if you guys... Or no, because I think it might be based on your trainer ID or something. I don't know. Alright, let's talk to our dad real quick. Have Wally and get our... Or Ralts. Ral the Ralts and the Zigzagoon. There's the Zigzagoon after you encounter the... After you get your starter. And then Ra Wally here encounters a Ralts in a minute. Both of those can actually be shiny. And if they are, you can't catch them. And if Wally catches the shiny Ralts, it doesn't stay shiny. Which sucks. Because it would actually be really cool to have like a rival that has a shiny. I really hope it isn't. <laughs> okay. I sit here and I keep like I keep like building up like is it gonna be shiny? Even though you pretty much guarantee it's not gonna be. Oh now I gotta sit through the catching tutorial. Cause shiny Ralts is actually like extremely rare in this game. And, even, and then because it teleports, you gotta catch it immediately. But I think it has a high catch rate. Does it? I don't know. I'm gonna look up while he's doing his little thing. I'm gonna maybe try to see here something about the... Let me see. Pokemon and uh, custom box wallpapers. There is a way, I think. Oh, 
Also, if he has a Ralts that only knows teleport, how does he train it? Just a thought. Alright, so now... We can go get some new encounters. What's this? Wally's house? Does he give me anything? His family? Um, bird and turf, yeah. Oh, <laughs> where's Wally? It's like, um, where's Wally? I think in Britain it's called Where's Wally, isn't it? Or like in other places. Here it's called Where's Waldo. Oh, and there's Scott, which is funny because my dad's name is Scott. And so he's the guy for the battle frontier. And if we do the battle frontier, when we're inside the battle frontier, I'm not going to count the Nuzlocke rules there. So if we, like, lose a Pokemon or something, because it's... You can't really have as much control over everything there. And it's just kind of go until you lose for the most part, I think. Let me get in these two battles. Astonish does like nothing, doesn't it? It does like very little damage. It doesn't. Oh. <laughs> it's also a ghost type move. So I'll send out... What is Greyhound now? What are his moves again? Tackle? Eh. All the moves suck. I need to get better moves. And this is back before uh, you could use TMs over and over. Actually, dang, if I got a... Wurmple or a Shroomish, that would be really good for catching Pokemon because I could use those to like put things to sleep. So I'd be. I would be very happy if I got one of those in the forest. And I'd have a good chance of getting a Wurmple. Oh, speaking of which. Um. I'll get some more experience on Mirror. So I got this chair and I'm kind of leaning back in it, lean back in it right now, and it has like it's an office chair and you know how they have like a lock on the bottom that prevents them from leaning back. If I use that, it makes the chair crooked and it's weird. And I don't know why it does it. Because I've I've sat in other chairs that didn't do that, but this one does. So that's a thing that happens. Oh, okay, that was weird. My, uh, I think it was just my recording just, like, cut out there for a second. I don't know if that showed up in, for you guys or not. I think it has something to do with me using the, uh, I'm recording with, with me using, like, OBS and the Elgato capturing software at the same time or something. I don't know. Maybe my computer's not liking that. Alright. Mirrors at level 5. Please learn a new move. Or not. Alright. I will have to look up and see what level he learns his moves at. Let me see that real quick. I'm gonna... Half this, uh, oh yeah, there is a way to generate your own secret wallpapers, as they put it on here. Let me look him up real quick. Let's see, Lotad. He learns in Pokemon Emerald. He learns Absorb at level 7, Nature Power at level 13, Mist. He doesn't learn a whole lot, but he evolves at 14. So he's really only going to learn, like, one move. Yeah, he'll learn Absorb and Nature Power before he evolves. And then he'll probably learn more after that. Absorb will be helpful on the next gym. Uh, don't these people give you something? Or no, I just talk to them. Never mind. 
I'm forgetting things that I just did. I was in a different town. Because I think Astonish only has like a 20 power or something, base power. And you can't use it against normal types. So Mirror is kind of useless right now. At least until he levels up a bit more. And then once I got once I get Mirror to level 7, I'll start training him and Greyhound together and I'll put Colonel in the back for a while. Get everybody leveled up mostly evenly. Ooh, it, oh, I should have switched. Okay. Need to find out what net level a colonel is gonna learn. He can fry some chicken. Okay, I'm saying this now. If I catch a shroomish in Petalburg Woods, I will name it Herbs and Spices. I will do that. If I get, I will have the kernel and I will have the herbs and spices. If I do that. I, I promise you that right now. That if I encounter one. Not guaranteeing we're going to encounter one, but if we do. Because so far every encounter has been what I wanted. Oh! When we come back, when we get the fishing rod, we'll have to come back here because we can get uh, an encounter in this route too. Because this is, well, it's not a route, but it's an area. And since the only way to encounter anything is we can't, you know, can't do anything yet. So, I have not got my encounter here yet. So, I'm going to do that real quick. Here's the old guy with Pico. Alright, I'm going to close my eyes. Um. Oh, it's a Wurmple. Oh, that actually ups our chances of finding a uh, Shroomish. Because if we encounter a Wurmple in the Petalburg Woods, it's a dupe's clause and we can get rid of it. We can do something else. I'm actually fine with having a Wurmple. He's not very good, but he'll be decent. Or He's good early on, actually. Just not in the long term. He's only a few levels away from evolving. It'll definitely be our first evolution. I'm just gonna throw a ball. I'll get out my route chart to write his name down. Yep, there he is. What are we gonna call him? Wait a minute. <gasps> I think I missed an area. I did. Mirror was on Route 103, not one, Route 102. Let me delete that real quick and redo him. Because there's an, another area that I can catch a Pokemon in. Because this was Route 104. And I'm going to nickname... My Wormful... We're gonna nickname him because he could evolve two different ways or it's a girl so she um wormple what would i nickname this it's either gonna become a beauty fly or a dust stocks it's random witch i will name it stay here forever. Wormful. It's a worm. It's a caterpillar. It's... Um... I'll name it Cat, because it's a caterpillar. There. That's its name now. It's Cat. There. I did it. <laughs> it's Cat. That's its name. Forever. And yeah, there it is. There's a whole route... 
that I missed an encounter on. We, we're on episode one, and we've already got a full team almost. I'm betting... It's probably going to be a Zigzagoon on Route uh, 102. That I can virtually guarantee. I'm going to close my eyes anyway, because it might be a Talo. Is that a Pooch? That's Pooch. That's Dukes. Close eyes. That's another pooch. So we just basically keep going until we get something that we don't already have. Is that Zigzagoon? Yes, it is. I don't think I'm going to be keeping this guy on the team, but I'm okay with it. I'm just going to throw a ball. I have a feeling he's going to use a catch. So. Ooh, he's going to put up a fight. Alright. I'll send out Graham. What am I going to nickname this thing? Um. name him he's like a raccoon kind of I'll give him like a raccoon like um uh, Sly Cooper or something raccoon or so he is a raccoon it just said so the raccoons are usually like a... I could call him... I feel like a raccoon or... I'll call him Sly. No, because it's a girl. Hold on, let me mark him as caught real quick. Um... Because he's going to evolve into a Linoon, or she is, and when it does, it will be kind of a ferret kind of thing. Um, Alright, I'm just going to pick a random letter, and I'm going to go with something. D. Okay. And one more. DJ? No, that won't work. DD? No. No. Um, I guess we'll go with. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll have something that starts with a Z. Okay, so um, we'll call it uh, Zoe. How do we spell Zoe? I think there's different ways you can spell that, right? We'll call it like that. We'll spell Zoe like that because that's like a, a name that starts with a Z. There we go. There's our next encounter. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be like a part of our main like team. But <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's definitely nice to have just in case. You know. So now we can head toward the woods. I'm going to go to uh, what's that town called? The next one up. I can't remember the name. Through the Oh, Petalburg City. I'll get to Petalburg City and then I'll call it there. Since it's been about almost an hour. But we got a pretty full team already. And I am okay with that. I 
I don't know. Do you battle me? We get another... Dude, we get a full six encounters before we even make it to the first gym. That's awesome. I'm going to keep Mirror up front for now. Although Cat, maybe I should train Cat up a bit. Yeah, I know all this. I think, do you battle me? You battle me, right? Don't you battle me? Ah, come on. There we go. Oh, you're using the zigzag. I cannot use this mirror at all. So I'll send out uh, Colonel. The Colonel is about to level up. And maybe to learn a new move. I think it's pretty cool to use a blaze on this. Also, ooh, mirror might be good because there's one really hard fight in the game against your rival, where she uses a marsh stomp, and it would be good. Ooh, you got a C dot. So of course, you've got a C dot. Is no ghost is weak to dark? I think I can't remember. Is Seedot considered a dark type yet? Or is he just still, um, grass? Let's see here. Critical hit! That was a crit? Oh. Nope, I'm not keeping you out. You are one level away from learning. <laughs> he learns Absorb. That's the first move he gets that's not Astonish, and it's also like a really weak move. It'll be better against the rock types, but it's not going to be good until then. I'm a little scared about the first gem. It's like the first gem is like harder because your, your team is not established yet. You don't really have a foothold, I guess. Oh, I don't use Bide. Stop using Bide. I'm going to knock you out before you can do anything. Oh, we grew to level 7! Awesome! Now I got Absorb. Now... Do you guys battle? Yes, you do. Okay. I don't remember this, but do you use a Magikarp? Because he fished up a tough-looking Pokemon. Is it going to be a Magikarp? It's a magical. It's a, it has a magical looking quality to it. Perfect. It's a level 9 though. That'll be good for uh, experience. This is free experience right here. Just use Absorb on it. Look how much damage that did. And you can do nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Bam! Just keep splashing. This this Nuzlocke is going suspiciously well so far. I'm a little like worried that something bad's gonna happen to me. Like I'm gonna get. The gym's gonna come and it's just gonna wipe out my team or something. I know, I know, because it's not a randomizer, so I know what the gym leader has. But I'm still kind of concerned. Because I don't want to be overleveled. That would make the game not fun. Alright. Oh, you're gonna battle me first. And then we get our final encounter for the episode. Six encounters in one episode. It's like a some sort of deal right there. Put that as the the title or something. Say it's, uh, it's a six for one special or something. I don't know. Oh, 
How long are you going to take to go down? Because I really want to get some more levels on you. Um, I'm going to swap. I need to train Greyhound up. I don't think that's really... Oh! <laughs> There's another route to the east of Petalburg that we can just go to and get another encounter if we want. Jeez, there's just going to be encounters everywhere. Yeah, I need to train Greyhound up. And also, um... Cat. I almost forgot the name of it. Wumble. Alright. Let me do that real quick. Should I... I'll do the encounter. You know what? I'm not going to make it to Petalburg today. I'm just going to do the encounter, this final encounter for the episode. No, you know what? I'm going to call the episode here. I'm going to leave it as a cliffhanger. It's going to be a cliffhanger. We'll go to Petalburg tomorrow, and we will finish off our initial team, and then go from there. But I'm definitely going to be keeping... Oh, I didn't check a lot of their natures. Cats relaxed and then naive. I don't know what those do. I don't care too much. But I'm definitely going to be keeping, or I'm, I'm, I'm intending to keeping, to keep. I'm intending to keep uh, Colonel, uh, Greyhound, and Mirror. They're all going to be team members till they die. But. Oh, there's a different game file that's already saved. Yeah, I know. I don't care. I was not... Oh, I'm not super attached to that old save file. Alright, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to see more. Uh, things went really well this time, and that's... Hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully this will be a fairly easy Nuzlocke. But... Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.